In some old newspaper or magazine, I recollect a story told as truth of a man, let us call him Wakefield, who absented himself from his wife. This, though far from the most aggravated, is perhaps the strangest instance on record of marital delinquency. And moreover, as remarkable a freak as may be found in the whole list of human oddities. The wedded couple lived in London. The man, under pretense of going on a journey, took lodgings in the next street to his own house, and there, unheard of by his wife or friends, and without the shadow of a reason for such self-banishment, dwelt upwards of twenty years. During that period, he beheld his home every day, and frequently the forlorn Mrs. Wakefield. And after so great a gap in his matrimonial felicity, when his death was reckoned certain, his estate settled, his name dismissed from memory, and his wife long, long ago resigned to her autumnal widowhood, he entered the door one evening, quietly, as from a day's absence, and became a loving spouse till death. This outline is all that I remember, but the incident, though of the purest originality, unexampled, and probably never to be repeated, is one, I think, which appeals to the generous sympathies of mankind. Yes? Yeah, your time's up. Oh, really? Yep, time's up. Oh, okay. Well, it'll just take us a minute to pack up. Okay, be quick about it. Okay, come on, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Mr. Uh, Clipboard, can I ask you something? Uh, no. Have you ever read Wakefield by Nathaniel Hawthorne? Debbie, you want to turn around and get this? Uh, Brent, just let oh. it go. Okay, sorry about him. We'll be out of here in a minute. Come on, guys. Wakefield, it's this kick ass short story by Hawthorne. We're doing a stage adaptation of it. It looks like you're making a movie. Multimedia. We're collaborating with really great playwrights who are writing different parts of the story, working with musicians, actors, designers to riff on it. All we need is a space to do it in. Point cameras and people. Absolutely. Look, a slam theater project. I, I've never heard of you. Your time is up. Have you ever heard of Lisa Crone, or Therese Rita, yes. or Adam Rapp? Yes. They've all written stuff just for us in the past. Wait a minute. Did, did you do that thing called Counterpoint at that school on Church Street? Yeah, that was us. Oh, okay. No, I saw that. My, my friend dragged me down there. You took that classroom and you totally made an awesome space with it. Okay. Oh, and that thing with the woman and the two kids? I cried like a bitch. Yeah, that's what Slant Theater Project does. We tailor each process to the artist and performance space. We try to create environments that challenge the traditional notions of what theater is. We did Pericles on the light ship frying pan off Chelsea Pier. What, what? The New York Times called us the cool kids of downtown theater. Look, okay, you can't tell my boss I'm telling you this. I know the coolest space downtown. Space on light. You should apply to their blank canvas giveaway. Blank canvas? That's all I need. Built-in bleacher seating? Space on White is a, is a place where creativity and talent are nurtured and protected. Well, that sounds amazing. It is. But this isn't Space on White, so get your book of f***ing Hawthorne short stories and all your other f***ing bullshit. Get the f*** out of here!